Hey guys, welcome back. So today's topic is going to be about Powerline Shell versus Powerline Go. Most of you guys probably already know what these are, but if you don't, it's basically when you pull up a terminal and you see the prompt right here, it basically kind of makes it look a bit better. Kind of like this. It shows an example here on the GitHub pages. And so this page right here is Powerline Shell and this one is Powerline Go. So I'll be leaving the links in the description if you want to be installing them and trying them out. But yeah, so first I'll try Powerline Shell, kind of show you how it looks, how to customize it, all that type of stuff. And then I'll show Powerline Go and kind of talk about the di main difference between them. So once you have Powerline Shell installed, uh, you have the table of contents here and kind of tells you what to do. So for the setup, I'm using bash, so you can kind of go here real quick and it tells you what to add to your bash RC file. So you can just quickly copy that and just use nano or whatever text editor you want and just type it up. And once you go at the end, you just paste the code and it's, you're good to go, it's done. But what I like to do is I like to add a comment here so that if I ever want to remove it or what, whatever, you know, I can just know that it's the Powerline shell code. So, so now that I've saved it, the next time I launch the terminal, as you can see, it looks pretty interesting. It looks pretty nice. Now, before I get ahead and talk about customization and all that type of stuff, the main difference that I would say between this and Powerline Go is the response time. As you can see, as I press enter, and you would assume it would be even slower if I'm actually typing things up, it does take some time, and when I just spam enter, it just, like, kind of, it takes, it, it is sluggish. As you can see, it uh, skips a few of them. So, initially, I used uh, just Powerline Shell, but I noticed that it really did uh, decrease the performance and speed of my terminal, but... Uh, but I'll just show it anyway, and I'll show the difference between this and Powerline Go um, really soon. So right here we have the customization. So if you want to generate the default customization or the default config file, uh, it shows the code that you have to paste in the terminal. And if you take a look at the at my config file, if, so yours by default, if you try it out with the default config file, it's going to look different. But if you want to make yours look like mine, as I've shortened mine on purpose so that it doesn't take up so much space, you could just do sudo nano and then just open up this directory right here that I've copied and pasted. And this is what mine looks. Now, one of the reasons, like I said, I tried to shorten it on purpose so that it doesn't look so clogged up and whatnot. But on top of that, I also tried to take out as many elements as possible to kind of uh, speed it up. But as you can see, it's just, it's still sluggish. And the very first time when you boot into your computer and you open up the terminal, it, it just, it takes up even more time the very first time, so. But uh, other than that, customizing it isn't really difficult. Uh, you just, uh, like I showed you, you just open up the config file in a text editor or whatever, and you just, uh, if you don't want like one of these segments, like let's say you don't want this, you could just get rid of it just like that and you're good to go. So customization isn't really uh, difficult. Oops. It isn't really difficult when it comes to uh, Powerline Shell, but when it comes to Powerline Go, it is a bit more confusing. And I still haven't quite figured, I, I haven't quite figured it out myself yet. Uh, but yeah, so We'll take a look at Powerline Go real quick. So once you install it, and uh, I'm using Bash, so it's basically a similar piece of code here that you have to go to your Bash RC file, and then just scroll to the end. So it's pretty pretty easy to switch between the two. Just remove the code and just paste the according code. So I'll just change my comment here, paste it real quick. And now, once I restart my terminal, as you can see, it looks different. Uh, I, would, I would most likely take this part out 
to kind of shorten it but again I haven't quite figured it out but as you can see now once I press enter and ensure I close the web browser so even if it's on top of a web browser it's still much faster much more responsive than uh, powerline shell and let's see if I just keep spamming it even if I keep spamming it let, let's try to hold it so if I hold it it does still skip a few um, but if I just spam it really quickly it's very responsive uh, of course if you don't use either of these, it's going to be the fastest and the most responsive. Um, that's to be expected, but um, it's just something interesting. I mean, if you've been using Powerline Shell, or if you if you didn't know about Powerline Go, then this is this is certainly worth using as opposed to Powerline Shell because it's, it's just so much more responsive. And I haven't noticed that um, that like any speed or or responsive issues or anything like that. So it's pretty neat um, but if you do know how to customize this like I want to remove this part if you if anyone knows how to do that please write down in the comments it would be greatly appreciated but that's basically it I definitely would recommend Powerline Go over Powerline Shell despite the fact that Powerline Shell has better uh, easier customization so that was basically it thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video